Good morning, everyone. Welcome to July 24th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we've got the Dow futures down 17, the S&P futures are down 2, and NASDAQ futures are down 2. Both Asian and European shares were mixed overnight. Futures were down sharply ahead of the bell on Monday as traders fretted over Europe's woes. The market opened lower as advertised and remained lower all day long. By the time the market closed, all of the major indexes had lost ground. There are no key economic reports due out today. Today we'll get earnings from Altria, Apple, AT&T, Broadcom, EMC, Juniper, Netflix, and UPS, to name a few. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 13.52, the 50-day at 13.33, and the 200-day at 13.14. The S&P closed at 13.50 with support at 13.33 and resistance to 13.91. The bears came out guns a-blazing on Monday using European troubles as the basis for very red futures. The market opened down hard and stayed weak throughout the day with a bit of nibbling later in the day. The S&P closed just below its 20-day moving average but not enough to cause a major technical problem. So, if the bulls can stop the bleeding quickly here, they just might be able to get right back on track while aiming for the most recent high of 1380. Here's a bully trend fact. The Russell 2000 is in the midst of a very bearish historical period in which its annualized return is minus 52.12% since 1988. The good news? This bearish period ends today at the close. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.